Hello, junior high and, well, hello, my older, older kingdom kids. How are you? I hope everybody's having a really great week. Um, don't forget, BBS is coming up. It's really exciting. July 17th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on campus. We will be there and we hope to see you there. I'm very excited about it. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, today we are looking more into who does God say that we are. There are all things in life that we love, right? Like, I love Michael and Wayne. I love animals. I of my job. There's all things that we love. But none of those things can compare to the God to the love that God has for us. Because God loves us deeply. So we're a really so we're gonna read a story in the Bible today that really illustrates that. Jesus told the parable of the lost son to show how deeply God loves us. But before we do that, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this lesson. I ask that you would bless the time that we have together. Open our eyes and our ears and our hearts to whatever it is you have to say. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, to help me out, I'm going to have some um, little... Okay, I've got some helpers today. Um, and we'll kind of talk about my helpers. This is my helper. So the story that Jesus, Jesus told about a son. So here's one thing that you need to know about this boy. Um, he lived at home with his father and his older brother. And both boys, they were deeply loved by their father, just like we're deep, deeply loved. But the boy in the story, he kind of did stuff. So let's see. We're going to be the boy in the story and my little my little friend here, my little elephant friend, um, he, she's going to be the older brother. Okay. Well, this boy, he said something to his dad. So let's see what he said. Luke chapter 15, verse 12. If you have your Bibles, go ahead and open them with me. Verse 12 says... A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, I want my share of your estate now before you die. So his father agreed to divide his wealth between his sons. So the boy was asking for his inheritance. And that means the stuff that he gets after his dad were to pass away. But his dad wasn't even sick. His dad wasn't going to pass away and his dad was still alive. So that was kind of like saying, you know what? I don't really care whether or not you're alive. I just want my stuff. Right? Or I don't really care whether or not you're alive. I just want your money. Not very nice, is it? So that's all that this boy wanted. Just wanted money. Well, now... So now we are greedy, money-hungry people. Remember, we're the boy in the story. So the boy, he got the money, and then he ran away from home. So now we've run away from home. Let's see. Verse 13 says, A few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings and moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all his money in wild living. He threw some big parties. Well, yeah. Do you think our party is going to last very long? Probably not. It didn't. It didn't last long. Verse 14 says, About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land and he began to starve. So now we are just empty, hungry, poor people. Nothing to show because we spend all our, our money on having big parties. We weren't responsible. We were greedy and not responsible, were we? But this boy had an idea. 
Let's see what it is. Verse 15 through 15 and 16 say, he persuaded a local farmer to hire him and the man sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the pods he was feeding the pigs looked good to him, but no one gave him anything. So he was that hungry that the pig food looked good to him. Well, finally, this, this boy, us, we decided that we were going to come home. And now he didn't think that his dad's going to love him anymore because he knew that the servants at his dad's house had food to eat and they weren't giving him any. But he thought maybe he could go be a servant and work for his dad in exchange for food. Let's see what happens. Verses 20 through 24 say, So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet, and kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast. For this son of mine was dead and now has returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. Oh, well, there we go. Now, the boy in our story, he was so hungry and empty, and his dad gave him a feast, and he wasn't hungry anymore. Now, the boy had a new kind of a party. Not a wild party, but a party celebrating that he was home, like a welcome home party. And this boy learned that money isn't the most valuable thing. He learned that love is the most valuable thing. So what do you think changed about the boy? He was greedy at first, right? In the beginning of our story, he was greedy. Um, probably wasn't very nice, not responsible. He liked to party. Um, but what didn't change? Think about that. Now this boy in our story, he took on a lot of new identities. From a greedy son to a wild partier to poor and hungry pig farmer. But he was always the same deep inside. Just as our just as we are deeply loved, this boy was deeply loved by his dad. He was just waiting for him to come home. That's all his dad wanted. His dad just wanted him to come home. And this boy Well, this boy is you. Right? We are deeply loved. So whatever you think about yourself, whatever you experience, whatever people tell you, doesn't matter because you are deeply loved by God. And that's what matters. Isn't that pretty awesome? Now, there was someone else in the story, remember? Now this friend here, was deeply loved too. This is our older brother, right? Now our older brother is loved, is deeply loved, just like we are. But see, the older brother got jealous because he didn't get a party. Even though he was the one that stayed, he never ran away. We remember we were the ones that ran away. Our older brother didn't run away, but we're the ones that got the party. He didn't get a party. That made him jealous. But his father reminded him that he's deeply loved too. Because he, while his brother was gone, he got to experience his father's love the whole time. So whether you've gone far away from God or you've stayed close to him, you're deeply loved. All right? All right, Kingdom Kids, you guys have a great rest of your week. I will see you on Sunday morning, either at 11 a.m. in the worship room or right here on Facebook and YouTube. You guys have a blessed week, and remember, God loves you, and so do I. Bye.